guys welcome back to Mala image today I have another thrift haul for you I had started out thrifting I went into the Salvation Army looking specifically for a man's pink shirt <laughs> and it exploded into me grabbing mostly a few basics but I'll try them on for you style it up for you and let you see what I got. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rache. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. On the vintage front, I didn't get too many items. I think I probably got two vintage items. The rest are really just, um, like I said, basic. I usually stay away from basics when I go thrifting um, because I buy them on retail and you know I have a lot in my closet. So when I go thrifting, I'm usually looking for, you know, like statement, you know, pieces that I would like to add to my current wardrobe, you know, like a mink fur cape. <laughs> Shout out to the person who identified the fur as mink, you know, as someone grew up on a tropical climate, you know, jackets and fur and all these things are new for me to explore, which is why I'm enjoying, you know, doing so right now. The other thing is, I didn't even go through my cart. I saw the things that I liked, threw it in there, and I didn't do an edit. I took one thing out of my cart, and that was a men's sage green shirt, and I actually regretted it. So <laughs> I'm not going to talk through all the looks. I'll show you them as I am going through it. So not to make this video too long because I have quite a few pieces that I need to show you. And then some of them I'll do my usual talk through um, and styling for you. So the first item I got is this and it is this dusty rose salmony color and I just liked it. I thought it would go well with my skin tone. What I also liked is it's a thick fabric and it's also very soft. So moving into the colder climate, I'm looking for, you know, something a little thicker, softness. I'm trading out my t-shirts basically for these things and it's a longer sleeve and it is a mock neck which I love. Now this is by Ann Taylor and it's actually a size large if you can see that but I like that it will be a little bigger on me so it will fall. I'd much rather it fall than for it to cling um, so that's why I got this top. The next item I got you're gonna think I'm you know crazy because I don't like red but this I'm not sure if it's showing up um, it's looking like a bright red in the monitor to me, but this is more like a rose red. It has like this nice, like deep pink tone to it as well. That's not showing, but I just really like the color of it. This is also a hundred percent cashmere. It is a size large. Again, I want it to just fall on me. You know, this top is more of like a fitted type thing, but for this, and on a regular basis, I just, you know, I don't mind just having a nice little comfortable top. I don't have to worry about what my stomach is doing because I have a little room. <laughs> so that's this. It even looks a bit small for a large, to be honest. So I don't think it will be that big of a difference on me. Just like how the other one was meant to be fitted. So even though it's a large, it's a narrow large. So, you know, I think these will be great for just throwing on with jeans and that is that. The next item I had in mind for just like a jeans look, I tried the Argyle vest, vintage vest before, and I don't think it's me, but I found this one. It's just this pink, um, it's like a pink and light pink. It's actually not white. I'm not sure if you can see the design, but I really liked, you know, it was a, it's, even though it's pink, it's a bit muted. This is by Eildon Hills. And it's an extra large and I think this is a um, vintage, maybe not like 70s, 80s, but you know, 90s type label if you look at it. You know, 90s is vintage now, so <laughs> this is the vest. You saw in my last uh, video that I got like a thin turtleneck, you know, great for like light layering when it just starts to get cold. I found another one and it's this like um, burgundy, like deep wine color. And this one is a mock neck, so that's even better. And for this, I just thought, you know, if you put it under like a white shirt, you push up the sleeves and you just have the burgundy like peeking out and the mock neck peeking out here, it would just look so... Actually, I have... Uh, 
Zara jumpsuit that I love and putting this under the jumpsuit I think would be really nice because with jumpsuits they tend to um, there's not much you can do to make them different. You can change your accessories, you can change your shoes, but then by throwing on different color like turtlenecks under it, it also helps to change the look, change up the look. And I love that jumpsuit. It fits really nicely, so I hold on to it. So I, I'll try that with this for you. The next item I got is vintage. It is this um, shirt sleeve top, white top by Judy Bond. You can see the label here. What I loved was the embroidery anglais on the sleeves. It's on the color and it's also on the little pocket right here. So I thought, you know, how can I pass this up? I have enough white shirts, but you know, it's different. It is different. <laughs> I realize my haul is mainly tops, but I did get a dress and this is this uh, knitted mock neck long sleeve maxi dress it has you know two little side splits here and it comes with its own belt which you know it's very cheap so i definitely changed the belt out for one of mine i have you know leather broad waist belts this is by misguided it's a uk 10 or 12 and that's the other so for this also it will you know not be like skin tight i'm not looking for bodycon i'm looking for it to just fall on my figure and just be nice and comfortable so that's why i got this i was actually on thread up looking in the designer section for a knit sweater dress so i'm glad i found this the weight of it is good enough which is why i was trying to find a designer knit because i wanted to make sure you know the quality and the weight of it was nice and plush these might start you know getting fuzzy and um, peeling but it will do for this fall but i really liked the color of this and i just i think this will be very very nice for the fall so yeah so i'm so glad i found this this was on my wish list <laughs> The next item I got is a skirt and it's this little mini skirt here. Yeah, not so practical for fall. <laughs> I really like the chain on the skirt. Now I have a jacket, well, blazer, uh, that's similar tone that, that I was hoping that it would pair with because I try to like create suits if, I, if they're not an exact suit <laughs> to make an outfit. So I thought this would pair well with that blazer. Uh, to make that lighter suit look. So that's really why I got this. What I love is that it's fully lined. Is this from the Conscious Collection? Uh, I don't think so. But yeah, so the thing with mini skirts and, you know, close fitting skirts in general is when you walk, they ride up and I hate that. And I think this, you know, and I think this will like flow nicely and stay put. So that's why I picked this one up. Now the reason I went in was for the shirt and the sh first shirt I got was this shirt. I loved how like it's like a little golden even the lines inside are like this little golden like pinstripe and so this is the first shirt I got. I don't think this is vintage. It's can I gold probably like early 2000s but this is the first shirt I got. Um, I also loved that on the sleeve, it kind of like you can fold it up, but I just like the idea of just leaving it unfolded. So the final item I found is this shirt and it has like this, the smallest like rib. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's really soft. We're, we're looking for cozy clothes and so this is nice and soft and, and and cozy and I just saw this you know with like my yellow my leather pants and so this is why I got this. So this is a vintage blouse on and it fits really nicely. I've paired it with my vintage Dior belt and this denim skirt by Miu Miu. I'm trying to I'm trying to get on the skirts before it gets too cold and I've paired it with this vintage Estee Lauder tote and these acne boots. I love these boots. They don't get worn hardly enough. So I've paired them with this to get some look out of it for this fall. So this is a misguided knit dress and this is how it falls. I just like 
I do like how it falls on me. This is a little split. Uh, when it comes down to the fall season, that's when you know the combat boots start coming out. So this is typically how I'd wear this dress um, every day. Just put this combat boots on. These are Justin boots, and now that it's pre-fall and it's cold enough but dry enough, I can put these out without worrying of, without worrying, I'll ruin them. So. This is how I'd wear this, but definitely we lose the cheap belt that's shedding. So I've just replaced it with this genuine leather belt and um, definitely a much better option. It just has this little quartz type embellishment on the front of it, but the color is perfect for this dress. If I'm doing a bag, I definitely do my Prada Galleria. It's in like this pumpkin spice color. I'm all set for fall, so this is how I'd do this look. So this is the dress option. It is a crossbody if I want it to be, but for the most part, especially for something like this, I definitely just go handheld. So this is what I mean in terms of it just being a relaxed fit, and not sucking onto every single crevice of my body. It's nice and cozy, so this is the this is a misguided dress. So this is the H&M skirt, and this is the blazer that I had in mind to pair it with. I've just put this one button here. So it doesn't have a collar, and I just like the idea of just doing up this one button and then leaving it open. I just have a white tee underneath, and I think this is a good uh, color match. Not having the blazer in front of me, I think this is a very good uh, color match and so this is what I had in mind and as I thought you know it's not clinging to me so when I'm walking dancing whatever <laughs> I don't have to worry about it riding up which you know most of the skirts that I find uh, like this a mini skirt tends to ride up so I like that and I've just paired it with these little heels now because it is such a work wear type look you know leaving it open is making it casual but i'd have to be careful with the type of bag that i take with this so it doesn't look you know too work wear yes i know it's a mini skirt but it still can look a bit formal because of the blazer so i decided to pair it with this vintage 18 anger i believe it's pronounced and it's just you know nice little snap top i love these vintage just snap top bags and i think it's a perfect like whimsy for an outfit like this to not make it look too formal so and so i'm glad that the pairing of this and this blazer really worked out so for this gold shirt look this is what i meant with the sleeves instead of you know folding them up they're too long for me anyway they're for you know a taller man so just leaving it like this nice and casual this is such a you know funky little look and this is a vintage blazer that I've put on over it and I think the colors complement each other pretty well so this is how I style this you know just with jeans I want to make the jeans a little more than just a casual top then I just throw this on it's just nice and relaxed and a little more you know elevated so this has a little more versatility to it in terms of um, where I'm going and what I'm doing so if I need to do several different things at different scales then I'm still ready um, I'm not sure I have in front of me still the Prada Galleria which I think would still work well with this look even though you know I'm not trying to match the colors exactly so you know I'm full pumpkin spice with this outfit but <laughs> I love the look of it and it feels really good like the the fabric is really nice and it's just so effortless it's a shirt and a jacket like but it looks very chic so I love pairing these two together now this vintage jacket is by um, Petite Plus there's certain vintage pieces that I have or vintage brands that I have, I realized that I have a few off. Um, even this vintage belt, this is by um, Jacqueline Ferrar, which I have more than one Jacqueline Ferrar. So with that in mind, when I'm searching online, when I get impatient and I'm searching online, then I just look up that vintage brand because I know that they're 
style fits me. Like this is a size four um, petite and it fits me perfectly. So I know that when I look for this brand of this vintage brand in a size four, then it will fit. I don't have to worry too much about fluctuations. Well, that's <laughs> what I have in mind when I'm, when I, if I'm thrifting online and looking for more vintage pieces. So that's a tip if, you know, you have certain vintage pieces in your closet and you know the size um, fits you perfectly, then when you're searching, for instance, like on Poshmark, etc., then at least you know that that brand fits you in this size. So that's just a tip to note. Um, but yeah, I am loving this. So I'll show you the final shirt um, and final look coming up. So this is the beige men's shirt. I've just, you know, casually uh, pulled the sleeves up. I also put on this, um, this is actually my vintage chain belt and I thought it just needed a chunkier chain. So I put that on and I've tucked it into my leather pants. And this is what I had in mind for this, just wearing it nice and loose with my leather pants. And I just love the look of it. It's just, you know, hanging below there. And I've paired it with these little anchor strap kitten heels. And I just love how relaxed it is. And that's what, this is, you know, one of the most comfortable evenings. I can go out to dinner, I can go out to lunch, um, I can go to a meeting like this. This is such a versatile outfit. Because I'm gravitating to these taupey beiges, it's all about the Gucci this fall. And so I just take it as a clutch for this look and that finishes the look completely. So this is the final item and it's my, ah, oh, I love this. It is, I just love how versatile this outfit is. Um, yeah. So that's the final look. Guys, for the last few thrift hauls, I took you so far cold, you know, trench coats, midi skirts, boots. Uh, there was a freaking fur coat, <laughs> for goodness sakes. So I'm glad that I was able to take you to current weather, which, you know, you can still have your toes out. You can still have your sleeves up and just be in like more cozier outfits. So <laughs> that's it with the thrift. You never know what you're going to find. So, I was able, so I'm glad I was able to, you know, bring you back to a little of warmth with these looks to current weather. So, <laughs> oh my God. Speaking of fur coats, why not? Why not? Yes. <laughs> I'm putting this on with everything now. Listen, oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yeah. Where's my bag? Oh, 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 yes, yes. Oh my God, yes. This. I'm, I'm telling you. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite, what item was your favorite. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. And do like this video if you did like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.